I'm taking a measurement from the edge of the body here to 230 and that's where this bracket's going to sit and then from this position for the front bracket one on this edge is 2215 and we do the same at that end now mark that I can mark where I've got to drill my 3 mil pilot hole because after I've drilled that I've got to then drill it with a 10 mil drill bit Okay, now we drill these bit, these pilot holes. We get the deburring tool just to clean up the holes. Whenever you drill a hole in a band, it's always good to prime it. You don't want any rust coming along later on. So, you know, you want to make this water tight. So, it's a good idea. Put a little bit of sicker around where you're going to set the cape. Nut sets, which I mount into those holes that I've just pre drilled. And the two screws you need to screw down with and the, the support bracket that goes up on the roof now with this you must stick it here and stick it here so that when you stick it down it's all nicely sealed so around here Next thing, put that up on the top of my ladder, screwdriver, screws, I go up, put the two little nut sets in place. In. Grab your bracket, line it up, sit down, grab your screws, and you just keep screwing until they're tight. bit of sicker okay you got a two brackets one for the rear one for the front and this one screws to the bracket I've already put up on the roof and this part here sits in the actual multi RIMO multi-rail and then you have this other bracket here which is what your actual awning sits into it locks in up here and over here and you have a couple of screws here to hold it in place but you can put these together beforehand without an issue this bracket goes in here like so there screw there and you have one extra screw right in the middle and that one actually goes right the way through and onto the multi rail to stop any chance of any doing the front From here to here at the brackets 230 mils then from this point here 
to the front bracket here is 2215. It goes over the top of the bracket, comes down, comes to the tab. So once you've got it on on the bracket, you line it up where you want it to finish and then you can screw it in place. So they do give you screws as a self cutting, but it's a good idea to drill a small hole first before you go putting them in. Through there. Okay, then you just get your screw. Put your screw in place, and you got two on each bracket. Okay, now all I've got to do is now that's all in place, I can tighten up the bracket, the holding bracket. Okay, this is a weather strip that you put on the back of your awning, which sits down in the gutter. And the main principle of it is if heavy rain hits here, you're not going to get any splash underneath your awning. Now I've just got to pull off the tape. Vimo multi rail. And just stick it to the back. You want 